Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Zach Detron here from One Hype Gazette, here with my next video, and this is kind of an attack strategy, but not really. I just want to show off something new at Town Hall 9 that I've seen in the last couple wars. Uh, you'll see some attacks from One Hive Genesis, but this one's actually from One Hive Alpha. A uh, very nice attack by, looks like Colt45, and it's the 7 healer attack, which is something that's a little bit surprising because you'd think. Uh, with healers being supposedly nerfed with the new Seeking Air Mine, uh, can target healers now. You'd think that would stop healers from being used as much, but we're really seeing healers continue to be used, if not used more. And one of the new ways we're seeing them is in seven, uh, an, in a group of seven. So I'll go ahead and play the attack. You'll see how they're being used in different ways. Um, not all of these seven healer attacks are uh, used for the same way. So drops down four on the queen. That's typically what you see is four of them are going to be used for the queen. And one thing I've noticed is that typically the when you bring a lot of healers, that's better for a base that has um, the defenses spread out more. This base you can see is very spread out, has the army camps in the middle. Uh, I always say this, but it reminds me of back when uh, if you got attacked in like a regular farming attack and they destroyed your army camps, you lost all the troops that were in there. That just reminds me of that. So kind of cool. But anyway, yeah, his base is very spread out. So the healers are effective because nothing's going to take too much damage. Uh, so they'll all be able to be healed back up. If the base is compact, sometimes the healers won't be able to heal the troops quick enough and they'll die uh, even with the healers on them. But on this base, it works out very nicely. Actually does a little bit, a bit of a bowler walk. It has those five uh, bowlers from the CC just walk with those three healers. And remember, the healers do times, I think, times two damage to regular troops. Or I should say they should do, healers do uh, half damage to heroes. So it seems like they're healing regular troops up way more. Because typically you see healers being used on the queen. So you're used to the amount of heal they do to her. But that's only half of what they do to regular troops. So those bowlers are staying up even with only three healers on them. They're taking out defenses. Uh, already about half the base is taken out just by the bowler walk and the queen walk uh, combined. Here comes the king to kind of help out those bowlers. Do some extra tanking. Just kind of making his way around the outside of the base. And besides those Teslas, um, hopefully we don't get too many notifications. Besides those Teslas, uh, pretty much... Everything can be targeted from the outside by the bowlers or the queen. Here he goes with some hogs. Here, just sending those guys right up towards the Teslas. Kind of a weird attack, to be honest, but I guess it was a weird base, so it makes sense. But yeah, everything moving through. Drops those hogs on the back side of the base. Completely overpowered this base. Now, he did hit a double giant bomb type set thing there. Not really a double giant bomb set, just an unlucky pathing. Uh, so he does lose about eight hogs that went into the base initially, but the remaining hogs will get in there, get those Teslas taken out. Plus, he has everything back at full health because, like I said, there's not a lot of damage. The healers were able to keep up with these spread out bases. The defenses aren't in large enough groups to do anything. So we'll fast forward to the end here as the last few buildings go down. Nice attack to Colt 45, and we'll move on to look at another attack. The next attack is also by Colt, uh, Colt 45. He also has seven healers cooked up again. Some more hogs, uh, similar type attack here. Once again, take a look at the base, very spread out. Also helps that the point defense is a little bit lower level. So that kind of adds on to the fact that the point defense is also spread out. But you'll see he'll drop down the queen, the healer's on her. Just let her start working her way into the base here. You can see there's kind of a gap in the middle of the base that will let her walk her way into the core and start to take out more important uh, parts of the base right here. He also has the bowlers and the CC once again and the three healers for them. So as long as you can kind of keep the bowlers in one group and they don't spread out too much, on you and as long as there's not too much point defense in the area the bowlers can be very effective on a bowler walk and that's kind of what I had as soon as bowlers kind of became uh, released and they started to be used at Town Hall 9 that's kind of what I thought bowlers would be used for is for bowler walks I never thought that we'd see uh, bowlers and kill squads or mass bowler attacks at Town Hall 10 but this is kind of the initial thing I thought we'd see and uh, Colt 45 is using it here. Drop down the bowlers. The funnel is nice and natural, has a wizard for that air defense. So the bowlers are definitely all going to go the same way. So they'll all get the benefit of the healers. Drops that next rage for the queen. Just going to let her keep moving into the base. Doesn't need many heals for his hogs because he's not bringing that many. And they don't have as much of a... Uh, of a purpose or as much of a need to take out much of the base because the queen and the bowlers will get so much. Once again, drops that king out in front to tank for the bowlers. That just adds some 
pro prolongs their life a little bit, I guess, and makes it so that, that the healers don't have to completely uh, be the thing that's protecting them. So everything moving through that next rage for the queen, she takes out the defensive queen. You can see how deep she got into the base, just making her way through in the opening right there. Here come the hogs, has one heal for them. The skellies do start to take a few of them out, but they're not going to be too much of an issue. Uh, the giant bombs were triggered by, it looks like the bowlers right there. They went in there and hit a double giant bomb set. So they are going to go down, but still has a ton of hogs. All the defenses are down. Uh, another nice attack to Colt 45. Has that heal spell to spare. Looks like he didn't even have to use it. So awesome stuff. Crush that base. Let's take a look at one more attack. This last attack is going to be a little bit different. It's using Valks. And I don't think there's bowlers in the CC. I think it was just level 5 Valks, if I remember correctly. So another queen walk to start, the four healers on the queen. That's pretty standard. But the three healers, I think, will serve a little bit of a different purpose rather than just a bowler walk. Drops in the one hog there on the cannon. Not sure the, the idea on that. I guess maybe the tank or something. I'm not exactly sure. There's the rage. Another hog. I think he might be going for the CC lure. Yeah, right there. That hog will go in there. Get at least a partial lure on the CC. Drops down the poison. Just misses the defensive queen. Would have been nice to get her as well, but looks like it won't matter that much. Uh, there's the next hog to get the complete CC lure. So finally gets it after three hogs. Two baby dragons come out with some minions. Seems like I've seen a ton of baby dragons or two baby dragons in one clan castle, which is weird to see, but I guess that's the way it is. And I, I made a mistake. He did use bowlers. I didn't catch that when I watched it. Um, a little while back when I was preparing for this video. He does use bowlers again, uh, uses the Valks up the middle. The king will kind of walk, kind of a weird distribution of the troops right here, but the main force of Valks goes up the middle, which I think is what he wants, and the bowlers help funnel them in. So I've said this a million times, it seems like, but Valks are great troops for going north to south, meaning they go one direction through the base, just straight through, and sometimes that means defenses will flank them from either side because they don't fan out as much. But if you have your queen on one side, your bowlers on the other, they can create a great funnel or a great uh, runway for your Valks just to go north to south. It kind of gets a little bit messy here because the Valks kind of peter out. The queen actually goes into the base. The bowlers are all spread out. So it definitely complicates a little bit, but has that next heal spell for the Valks. Has a few hogs to flank these defenses and just kind of moves th through this base in one wave from south to north on every side of it. Has the queen on one side, the king, the bowlers on the other, the Valks, some hogs on the flanks. I uh, just kind of moved through this base in a wave. And yeah, I think the healers are very powerful right now, despite the the fact that they can now be targeted by air traps. So I don't know if um, what exactly is sparking some some new healer type compositions, but regardless, I've been seeing that Town Hall 9 1 to show you guys. And I, if you see a base that's spread out and you think you can take advantage of that, go ahead, try a bowler walk, try a queen walk, see if you can marry those two things and maybe bring some Valks or some Hogs or something to take out the rest of the base because these spread out bases especially, and even some compact bases depending on the circumstances, but mainly the spread out bases, they are great for using healers because the healers can keep up with the with just the few defenses on the outside of the base as your troops move through. So hope you guys liked the video, hope you Town Hall 9's learned something, and let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Bye, Sack to Toronto.